Good morning. Hi, y'all. I thought it would be important to see my face and hear my voice. Um, today, I wanted to, for our class, um, do what I would normally do, which is summarize some of the things I read from y'all's response. Um, I'm going to start with just a couple students today. I thought y'all would really want to know what other people were saying. Um, oh, I also can show y'all my okay, Gatsby coffee cup here backwards but um so we beat on boats against the current borne back ceaselessly into the past i hope y'all are well uh, i've been thinking about you a lot um so let's start it up ekane um, i'm gonna go through the alphabet i wrote down some notes here she had a great response um really talked about how she could relate to the friendship drama kind of um, that still goes on. Um, by the end, she said she didn't really like Esther anymore. I heard that quite a bit. Sam, later on down, really felt the same way, that she they really questioned a lot of people. Uh, Will, also lots of people, questioned her decisions at the end when she left in the hall in particular. We know we don't leave friends in the hall and they're, they've had too much to drink. Um, and... And Davis had a really cool idea about that scene that was really the opposite take. Um, that, in a way, Esther's response, I think someone else mentioned this too, she didn't lock, she couldn't lock the door. She couldn't bring herself to do that. Um, I think I have Ann Davis's words right here. She said that she seemed to act like she was this sort of numb person, very cynical person, but that, that scene in the hall with Doreen made Ann Davis wonder um, if she was lying to herself about that, that maybe she wasn't the tough, numb person that she paints herself to be, which then made Ann Davis more curious about Esther, um, wondering, quote, who is she hiding from? Uh, did something happen to her even before she got to New York? Um, that caused her to have some kind of trauma. Um, that reminds me that Sam described his definition of losing it is sporadic and chaotic, which he felt Esther's vibe, her tone, um, her characterization, even her style is very sporadic and chaotic. Um, mentioning lots of strange things. I think Jimmy made me laugh when he was like, yeah, it took me off guard when she was um, thinking about JC in bed with someone and like that was like shocking and a lot of people were like why is she telling us this um, the details Jack Feldstein was talking about how something as mundane as a bath she could describe as purifying and um, he made such a cool connection that Esther is very privileged, but she doesn't seem to realize it. Ekene talked a lot about, I'm sorry, um, Lacey talked about and compared it to Gatsby that this book really had some commentary about social class. Um, Esther was described by, gosh darn it, who was it now? But someone is being kind of um, separate and feeling really misplaced. That was it, Ann Davis. Um, a misplacement was a, a theme, uh, this really downbeat tone. And again, this numbness. Could that be related to social class? Um, we'll keep an eye on that. And of course, her mental instability. Um, Sam, I thought, made a really cool analytical observation that she used a lot of grotesque imagery that was unnerving. Will mentioned that it he felt a little weird or annoyed um, even just reading it because of that, I think. I get that. And um, so thinking about that grotesque imagery, where do we see that? Why would we see that? Um, what does this tell us about does it unnerve us as readers and also thematically? Anyway, those are the things I wanted. I'm looking over my notes to make sure I have not 
Uh, Lacey made a good point um, at the end of chapter two. Once again, it reminded us of Gatsby. Chapter two, two. When Nick gets drunk, our narrator, and things get hazy. So um, Esther two's memory of um, that third wheeling. I think Jimmy said we still get that when you third wheel. Uh, just really fantastic, cool responses um, relating to this this strive. Uh, Will talked about people going to New York City and really wanting to be successful and that there is some falsity that goes along with that. Okay, my video has reached five minutes, nearly six. I hope you're well. I'm gonna try to make a YouTube channel and post this. We'll see how that goes. But um, here are the flowers I showed you all the other day. We'll turn and look at those um, for some hope as we, as I sign out for the for the discussion. Um, I'll get to some more folks. Like I said, I started at the alphabet today, but I read everybody's response and um, hopefully you heard, you enjoyed hearing other people's ideas. Keep those in mind and continue to respond and think about these bigger themes as you read. Have a great weekend. Miss you guys.